I joined Akash in 9th standard. Mm -hmm. So I joined early, I gave Anthe an 8th standard. Pretty much a game changing moment for me. Now I'm competing all across India. Hello everyone, good evening, good evening everyone, welcome to the class, good evening everyone, how are you all, so good to see you here everyone, yes, welcome to the 9th and 10th channel everyone, and uh, everyone bohat baar ho gaya, so, yes, good evening, good evening, I can see Rinki, Aya, Vaibhavi, Yash, Anaya, Anushka, Dream X, Devika, Suraj, Piyush, in fact, learning, in fact, everything, nice name. Suman, Rekha, Tejaswini, Tanishka, Khushi, Manya, Yash. And now I can't read chat, I mean, it's a lot more. Good evening, everyone, how are you all? I hope that all of you are in a good health and are super excited for today's class. Yes? So, it's the marathon session, sit a little bit, take a little bit of time. We will have lots of lots of discussion and of course we will be moving ahead with a quick recap of the chapter and then we'll have the quiz. So all of you are ready? Yes, quick some thumbs up everyone. Quick thumbs up and I'm, I can see many of your friends are joining so ask them to join, right? We'll start our session and of course it's the all-in-one marathon. We'll have a wholesome chapter with us. Okay, now... Yes, Ev, awesome, amazing everyone. Thumbs up, thumbs up, very good. Chalo, aage padte. Oh, it's a very interesting webinar that we have, right, on Sunday. Sunday ko kon free hai? I hope all of you are free, right? And you can register for this webinar where me and Khushu ma'am will be coming and we will be discussing and we will try our best. Bahut saare doubts hote hai. In terms of JE, how to do JE, how to do JE, how to do NEET, how to do NEET, there are lots and lots of doubts, right? And we'll help you with that. So, register for the webinar, link in the description. Yes! No issues, no issues, but, okay, you can register. Of course, you saw the video of the end, hey everyone. Uh, education word, you will be, if you have registered for the webinar, you will be getting the link and you will be able to join it. Yes? Let's talk about the ANTH examination everyone. So we, we have this examination for cl class 7th to 12th. We will be really very soon will be starting something that can actually help you to crack this examination. 100% scholarship here and of course we will be going into details of it. Very very important exam everyone. Competitive exams ka first taste if you want. This is the examination for us. So if you haven't registered please register now. Link description in the UAE. Join karlo jaldi se. Very good Yash. Okay, everyone. Now, if you are new to our channel, if you are very new, if you are seeing me for the very first time, my name is Ankita and welcome to the channel of 9th and 10th of Baiju's and I hope that all of you are in good health. Yes, English mein hoga. I will try my best. Thoda, thoda. I will try my best. Okay, everyone. Nobody will be calling uh, Yash, I guess, for that. Nobody will be calling you. Yes, Suraj, I have read your name. Yes, we have the mentee. Thank you, Shreya. I am also good. Thank you so much for asking. Okay, everyone, let's start our class. Yes, Srivalli, nice name. Okay. Can we start our class now? It's done. Badiya hai. Okay, very, very good, everyone. So, thumbs up. I want your support. Write a very small request from my side. It's a very, very important chapter. So, let's focus on the learning today. Please do not, in, don't chat unnecessary. Wait for the topic to come. I will doubts clear doubts, but you need to wait for some time. Okay? Right on time, Raghavan, we are starting now. So, here we have the content that we have in this particular chapter. We have nervous system of humans, hormonal system of humans, control mechanism in plants or the uh, chemical coordination in plants. And then we have the plant coordination. Yes, very good. So let's start right. I hope that 
you have your uh, basically you can take a screenshot educational word but I will be sharing this PDF so you will telegram group pe, you will be getting the PDF so don't worry if you can't take notes now don't worry at all if you want to write something you can still have you know your pencil and a notebook okay I can see how's the Josh and everyone is saying hi very good very good no Nibha will make it easy okay everyone let's start with the nervous system now of course when we talk about the nervous system and when we start with the chapter of control and coordination there are two important words control and coordination now control ka matlab hum sabko pata hai right hum koi cheez control kar rahe hai main ye pen control kar rahi hu right then now there is a coordination also requires here so control and coordination together are a very very important thing that happens in our body aur ise kaun control kar raha hai of course we have our nervous system not the hormonal as of now but of course it is also a very Im important part of it yes it's okay it's okay right now let's take a deeper look into the nervous system I, I will be moving ahead take a screenshot a thumbs up and a screenshot for all of you right please take a screenshot yes very good huh. screenshot Elia um, so if you can give me a window of me so I can see myself right me if I can see Cool. So we have the nervous system. Yes. Now, central nervous system of what we have, we have the brain and the spinal cord. And then we have the peripheral nervous system, which we have somatic nerve, autonomic nervous system. And in that we have the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. Parasympathetic or the sympathetic nervous system. Okay, we will be discussing about these in detail. But let's start, right? Menti hai Vishnu, par abhi end mein hoga. Let's learn and then we'll test ourselves. Okay? Yes. Very good, everyone. So let's talk about the nervous system, right? Now, of course, a very interesting question what the nervous system is composed of. Quickly, everyone, everyone tell me. The nervous system is composed of what? Or what is the structural and the fundamental unit of the brain? Yes, yes, yes. You will get the notes for this particular chapter for sure. Neuron, neuron, neuron. Very good, yes. So, of course, we have a nervous system which is composed of the neurons, right? Neurons important, hai, bahut zyada important. Hai. Yes, okay. Now, I will be asking you the question and you just name. Now, which part of the neuron actually receives the information from other neuron and pass it to the cell body and further to the exon? Very quickly, everyone. Which part of the neuron actually receives the information from other neurons, right? Con information collect karta hai neuron ki taraf se. Very good, the correct answer is dendrite. <laughs> Claps everyone. So the correct answer is the dendrite and of course, it is a hair-like projection that we have on the cell body, right? And of course, it receives. Next part is the cell body or the cyton, right? Which have a nucleus, right? And of course, it has the granules also here and there. Very, very important part. Then, yes, the, then comes the very long arm which is the exon, right? Now, what is the exon? It's a very long arm of the neuron which carries the information further. Yahan se dendrites, the information will be passing into the cell body. From there, it will be moving to the exon, right? Now, on the exon, we have two important things. Can you name them, everyone? Really, very quickly, can you name them? There's a sheet, right? There's a sheet which is present. I know it looks like a root wala structure. Everything has a little bit of connection, right? Very good. The myelin sheet, right? Now on the neurons, oh, sorry, on the on the exons right over here, and on the neurons also, we have a sheet which is the myelin sheet. Now basically it acts as an insulator. It makes sure that the impulse is not getting lost. They're moving in a very straight line, right? And moving one. And of course, moving ahead and without any lost in between. So that's a very, very important tool. And of course, it actually helps in the quick transmission of the information. The other thing is what? The other thing is the nodes of Ranvi. The small gaps that we see over here, right? It's the node of the Ranvi and it allows the generation of the fast electrical impulse around the exon. Bhagirat sir, I can't see the chat and myself. I can see the anthewala. So please, if you can give me that. Yes, it's a very flat screen. I can just see the one. Uh, you, 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 can check, uh, you can check over here. There's an anthewala slide. I can't see anything. The chat is not working. 
and I can't see myself also. Cool everyone? Yes. Very good everyone. So are we clear? Yes everyone, quick thumbs up. Muskan, a little bit, not very late but a little bit. Yes, I can see the chat now sir. Yes. Notes, Doraemon. Wow. You will get the notes on the telegram. Okay, notes will be on the telegram. Very good. And the last part of the neuron that we have is the exon terminal. Where the impulse will come from. Chali jai ge aage. Are we clear? Yes, are we clear? Channel name is the uh, Baiju's telegram. Pe hai. We have 9th and 10th. Yes. Okay, Monica in a very simple language. Bache. So dendrites, everyone focus now. Yes, so if we have the dendrites, right? Dendrite will receive the information, then we'll move to the cell body, then we'll move to the exon. On exon, we have the myelin sheet, which actually makes sure there's a quick transmission of the impulse and it protects that impulse as being there, right? It's not moving, uh, it's not getting lost. We have these nodes of Ranvi, which make sure there's a faster transmission. And at the end, we have the exonal or the exon terminal or the nerve ending from where the impulse will be moving to the next neuron. Are we clear? Yes. Shweta, there's a gap between Bachche because I'll tell you that. We will talk about it. Yes, very good. I have just explained. Just explained. Okay, so now everyone you can draw, uh, basically if you want you can write a chart, the, how the nerve impulse move. Starts from the dendrite, everyone very quickly repeating for the last time, focus here. Starting from the dendrite, goes to the cell body, then to the exon, right? And at the end to the exon terminal. On exon we have, we have myelin sheet and of course we have the nodes of Ranveer. Are we clear? Yes? On the exon terminal, from the impulse will come here and of course it will move to the next neuron. Very good. Yes, very good Tanya. Myelin sheet, Dikshita, I have repeated Bache, but again I am repeating it for you. Basically, it makes sure there is a quick transmission of the nerve impulse and it makes sure that the nerve impulse is moving ahead, not getting lost here and there. Very good, very good. Urvashi, the function of rods of nodes of Ranvi is that it makes sure there is a faster transmission of the information. Very good. Okay. Let's move ahead and let's talk about the types of neuron. It's very, very important everyone. So, the, the transmission question that comes, right? This particular question can come for two marks. And sometimes for one marks in MCQs, right? Very good everyone. Cyton. Cyton is a cell body. Very good. Okay. Now let's move ahead and we'll talk about it. So we have different types of neurons. We have different types of neurons, right? We have sensory neurons, motor neuron and relay neuron. Now we'll be coming back here later. But let's quickly talk about the signal transmission. Are we clear everyone? All the best. Now I want all of you to focus over here. Yes. Yes, very, very good. Very good. Okay. Now let's see the signal transmission, right? Exonal ending, yafir, nerve ending, yafir, exon terminal. This is the one, right? And I'll answer that question. Everyone focus here. Yes. So what is happening from the exon, right? The nerve transmission is happening, right? And at the end, or at the exon terminal, what will happen? This is an electrical signal. Everyone focus over here. There's an electrical signal. Now that electrical signal will be getting converted to the chemicals, right? Over here. Can you see these vesicles? Yes or no? What we have inside them? We have studied this, right? We have something inside these. What we call it as? Yes, everyone. What we call it as? Very, very good. I can see. The neurotransmitters, right? We call them as a neurotransmitter. So, someone asked me, ma'am, okay, ma why we have a gap between, right? Electrical impulse is coming. Electrical impulse will be getting broke. It's basically, there's a break between the neuron. That's how the structure is, right? 
and of course the electrical impulses cannot pass there has to be some chemicals involved into it because then our body are is basically working on the chemicals so now we have the chemicals in the these neurotransmitters now these chemicals will be coming at the end of the walls of the nerve ending and they'll attach and they'll release the chemical in the space which is called as the synapse are we clear yes are we clear so in this space the gap that you see over here the small the junction of the gap junction is called as the synapse and through this synapse the chemicals will jump and go to the next neuron ta here it's a gap bachche right over here yes very very good let me quickly repeat it once again after myelin sheet we have nodes of renvi renvi axonal ending very good okay so again i'm repeating everyone theek hai ab main hindi mein padhati hu kyunki hindi ki demand hai so synapse kya hai we'll see now so nerve transmission ho raha hai nerve transmission ke liye impulse aa rahi hai axon mein aur axon mein what is there electrical impulse hai abhi wo electrical impulse convert hogi chemical mein where will have the chemicals in the small sac like structure called as a vesicles and is a neurotransmitter bolte hain these neurotransmitter will move ek neuron se dusre neuron mein kaise neuron mein kaise aayenge there is a small gap which is called as synapse ek neuron se they will come to the walls release honge and they will come in between the space jo hai synapse are we clear yes okay synapse like yahan se information dusre neuron mein aayegi are we clear see you should help your teacher now and it's nothing new that you are learning for a very first time very good everyone yes the gap between the gap between the two neurons yes the gap between the two neurons the junction is called as the synapse synapse very very good i'm super proud of you awesome chaliye aage badhe everyone let's see how the nerve impulse transmission happens kaise actually the information moves this is how so dheere dheere ja raha hai dendrites to cell body to axon to axon terminal then to dendrite to cell body to axon and then to the axon terminal please take a screenshot jaldi se screenshot lijiye it's a easy way to remember c sorry d c a dca yes very good awesome everyone so i hope that this is clear menti we have but after the revision okay so this is clear right everyone very good acetylcholine uh, raghavan it's a type of basically it's a neurotransmitter all the best gaming guru for your examination why there's a change of the signal right now uh, madhi it's really very important now electrical electrical impulse is moving in a particular structure right now there are lot of gaps and when we talk about the gaps right there are present in our body now there is a very minute gap but of course the body is designed in such a way that we have evolved in such a way that the chemicals have lots of and lots of control so because of these chemicals we will see the transition happening it just cannot go like that education word how electrical impulse is created i wish and i really want to answer this question bachche but it is out of the context of our class it requires a lot of time aap ye class 11th mein padhenge detail mein so i'm sorry i'll not be able to explain you in that detail because it's it's out of our uh, like our class ka concept what is the chemicals called as neurotransmitter everyone please help your friends out here right Okay, please help your friends out here, and the channel. Please take care. If there's a repetition, you can take some action. Yes, very good. Okay, so now we are clear with this, right? हो गया ये signal transition, uh, signal transmission is done. Now let's talk about the nerve fiber. Now, what is a nerve fiber? What is a nerve fiber? Yes, without the gap, Yashika, we cannot. Uh, the will not be able to work. Yes. Now, what is a nerve fiber? It's a very important one marks question. Can be asked. Can be asked. Yes, Tahir, absolutely correct. 
Yes, the bundle of the neurons is called as a nerve fiber. Very good, of course. Screen pe hai. All of you are really very smart. Yes. We will be coming to that, Pia. You need to wait, bache. Yes. Right, what we have? We have the nerve impulse. So, we are clear with the nerve fiber now. Now, of course, this nerve, right? Now, how, what is a nerve? Nerve is nothing but the connective tissue binding together and they will be forming the nerve. So, in a nerve, we will have nerve fibers, right? Over here, we can see. And these nerve fibers, what they have? They have the exon. Are we clear? Yes, very good. Arvind, we will be coming to that, but you need to wait. Just in few minutes. Are we clear? Yes. Very, very good, Disha. Awesome. So, are we clear up to here? We are clear with the basic concept. Now, there were a few doubts. Let me clear that. What is stimuli? For example, light over here is a stimuli. If I shout now, my sound will become a stimuli to you. Right? You will have that attention. Or if suddenly there is a light on my eyes, what will happen? The pupil, right? The pupil will either dilate or will contract, right? That is a stimuli. So external stimuli, that the, the anything which is coming from the outside, right? External action that will be changing the response that we give. Okay? That is stimuli. Response is what we say, Achha, ye bahut tez light hai. Oh, ma'am, kaan me dard ho gaya. Something like that, the response that we give. Okay? Very good. So, are we clear with this? Yes. Iska matlab hai that connective tissue binds together and several nerves, connective tissue basically bahut sari nerves ko saath me leke aata hai, nerve fiber ko to make the nerve. Okay, Yash? Yo, 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 I can see the lots of yo. Now to the reflex arc. Now what is this? If I do like this, what is this? If you can see me, if there's a really, very hot surface and we do, what is that? Yes? Kya ho hai wahan pe? What, what is happening basically in our body? If there's a very, very, very sharp object that, you know, comes to you in touch with your, on the skin and you feel that pain, you do like this, right? Something is pinching and yeah, there's lots and lots of information that comes. Very good. So that of course, we have the reflex arc. What is it? We have the receptors on the skin that receives the information, that take that information with the help of the sensory neuron, right? We'll be going back to that. Now what is the sensory neuron? Let's see over here. Now sensory neuron is a neuron that transmits impulse from the sense organ to the brain. Skin is a sense organ, yes or no? Yes, it will be receiving the information, right? It will receive the information, it will be sending it to the brain, right? So sensory neuron are present in the optic nerve. For example, we are just saying for the light. We have motor neuron that receives the information and make that work. So neuron that transmit impulse from the brain to the different parts of the body, we call it as the motor neuron. And in the end, we have the relay neuron, which is called as interneuron also. And basically, it actually helps in communicate, communicating motor and sensory neuron. It's there in the between. Okay? Cool. Now that we are clear with this, let's talk about this. We have receptors, which we receive the information. Receptors, right? They will receive the information. Then they will take it, the information to the... Of course, the information will be taken with the help of sensory neuron. Now, this sensory neuron will take that information to the spinal cord. Very good, very good, Srihari. I can see the definition. Very good. Yes, Tahia. Yes, it is there and link between the two. Very good. So, the sensory neuron will take the information to the spinal cord. Spinal cord chupke se information bhejega brain ko. But will not be act, brain will not be acting on it, but it will get the information. Between the relay neuron will actually help in transmission the information from sensory neuron to the motor neuron. And motor neuron happily will take the information to the hand or the, to the muscles. Are we clear everyone? So exam, if this question comes, you need to make the chart. Basically, you can write receptor, sensory neuron, relay neuron, spinal cord, motor neuron and the effector in muscle. Are we clear? See, you don't have to draw the hand and etc. Okay, please don't get worried. Ma'am, we have to draw the hand. Nahi banana hoga. 
you just you need to make these boxes this diagram is important but you can make the boxes okay very good yes so we can quickly repeat this right let's quickly repeat this so we will receive the information right over here the receptors will receive the information take the information to the sensory neuron sensory neuron will take the information to the spinal cord right back there the spinal cord in between we have the relay neuron that will receive the information give that information to the motor neuron and motor neuron will take that information to the muscle very easy right now comes the very important part right over here what is reflex arc and what is reflex action very good so the special type of neural circuit that begins with the sensory neuron at the receptor and ends with the motor neuron at the affected is called as reflex arc so it's a small circuit that comes right it's a arc so basically it start like this clear menti hai disha but you need to wait are we clear everyone it is like this right very good piyush very good yes piya bachcha i think one and a half hour ka session hai yes okay that's why we call it as the reflex arc the reflex action is a involuntary and nearly instantaneous movement that happens in response to the stimuli and the reflex action happens through the reflex arc which is the neural pathway that controls the reflex are we clear with the difference yes for example uh, let's just make it easy now for example your parents know aapke parents ko pata hai ke if you are sad if they give you chocolate you will be happy right that's a small arc they know that if you are angry chocolate will make you happy yes now reflex action would be that they instantly know ke aap zara sa sad ho to chocolate will come apne aap se right so there's a difference between these yes so there is one reflex arc a particular pattern that it has and reflex action it is it happens naturally you will get the ppt bachche aata hai you will get the pdf of this on the telegram yes very good ma'am the effector we have the neuromuscular junction ha so what is neuromuscular junction so we have this muscle right is cubic ek bahut sare nerves basically will have the attachment just there's a small gap right jo information provide karega that is called as neuromuscular junction Disha will come to that. Yes, when we are talking about the brain, we will come to that. I started the live at seven pm. Reflex action. Yes, Aditi is controlled by the spinal cord. Disha, you need to wait, bache. Seven o'clock, Piyush. Seven o'clock. Very good. Now, are we clear with this? Chalo. Let's move ahead. Yes. Very good, everyone. Quick thumbs up. Very quick thumbs up. And now I'll not ask you to take a screenshot. You have already taken this, but I hope that's clear. okay neuro muscular junction so for example mm, okay i'm not sure okay let's have this right see can you see this pen okay wait we have these two papers the tissue right can you see this everyone okay now if i take this paper and put it on the not so flat surface what will happen there will be a small gap right chota sa gap rahega but if i drop a water on this particular water wo pani dheere dheere niche jayega yes or no yes or no right so basically if if this is a paper and if these are the basically the impulse right basically these are the neurons if i pinch and if this is the gap right you can see there will be a impression of it but the information will pass even if it's not touching my hand over here i will still feel the pinch right so the neuromuscular junction basically is present over here like a small gap and it just passes the information sakshi kaise explain karu bachche jab hindi mein bolti hu to english mein hona hai english mein bolti hu to hindi mein hona so i'm trying to balance out and i i'm sure aapko english mein samajh mein aa raha hoga here and there i will i will uh, try to you know explain in hindi theek hai awesome chalo are we clear with this 
सपना इज अ बहुत ही कॉम्प्लिकेटेड टॉपिक हाउ चेंजेस हाउ इट चेंजेस आर मूड बट वी विल ट्राई यस चलो ओके एवरी वन नाउ यूर मूविंग टू ब्रेन सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट थ्री मार्क्स क्वेश्चन नाउ यू लाइक मैम आप क्वेश्चन के साथ में बता रहे हो मार्क्स राइट नाउ दिस इज आई एम श्योर दिस इज दी फैक्ट आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव सीन द क्वेश्चन यू मस्ट हैव सीन दिस क्वेश्चन इन योर एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो सो दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन स्पेसिफिकली ऑफ ब्रेन कम्स फॉर थ्री मार्क्स मतलब अगर फुल ब्रेन देर आस्किंग यू देर बी आस्किंग फॉर थ्री मार्क्स रेयरली फॉर फाइव मार्क्स एंड हेयर एंड देर दे कैन आस्क यू इन बिटवीन फॉर टू और वन मार्क्स ऑल्सो Yes. Okay. So let's start with the brain, right? Now, so many of you are asking, ma'am, brain को कैसे protection मिलती है? How the brain is well protected? Now, brain is a muscular structure, बहुत soft. I'm sure you must have seen on internet, right? It's really very soft structure. Now, of course, it's protected by the the hard skull, right? The cranium. Very good. Now, of course, this is a very, very, very strong structure. And इसके बीच में what we have? We have this. Cerebrospinal fluid, right? Basically, it's a fluid which is there. It's there in the spinal cord also. This fluid actually help in the absorption of the shock, right? And it plays a very important role in providing the protection. Yes, very good. And meninges, absolutely correct. Three layers of meninges, absolutely correct. Can you quickly tell me what are the three layers of meninges, right? Very good, very good. You can tell. It's not important from the exam point of view, but if you know, you can. If you don't know, it's fine. You will be learning in your higher classes. Okay, very good. Dura, I can know it. Andy, Pia, very good. Awesome. Dap, yes, dap. Very good. Yeah, yes, they have mentioned. Yes, we don't have it in the class ten, but you will learn in the ah uh, higher classes. Very good, everyone. Super proud of you that you know. So of course we have the outer covering, right? And of course, let's talk about the grey matter and the white matter. The inner part, right? This part is made up of the nerve fibers, and of course it has a color of white. And what we call it as? It's the white matter. The outer part that you see over here has a cell body of neuron, and it's called the grey matter. Yes, we call it as a grey matter. And there are three membrane which are there, and we call it as the meninges. They have mentioned over here, but they haven't mentioned the detail. Right? A very basic information. Don't have to worry about it. Important thing: what we have, the fluid we have, and the layers we have that actually help in the absorption of shock and provide the protection to the brain. Now, important everyone: parts of brain. How many uh, lobes we have? Yes. So yes, the this is the grey matter, but now. It's very difficult to label per se, right? The internal part of the neuron, right, that goes inside. Now, of course, we cannot see the inside over here, right? But uh, inside we have the white matter. Okay, I can see lobes. Very good, very good. So we have three main part, right? And we have different lobes. So we'll discuss about it. Here we have the brain. We have the cerebrum, right? Cerebrum, and it's the largest part, right? Now, as I am sure. How many of you like walnuts, right? How many of you like walnuts? A crowd, अच्छे लगते हैं आपको. And I'm sure when you look at the structure of the walnut, you can actually relate it to the brain, right? If they, if you have a very complete, wholesome walnut, you can actually relate it to the brain, right? They have lots of those curvy lines that we have, and we can easily open into half like this. Yes, right? So that's very interesting. So similarly, our brain has two uh, cerebral hemisphere, right? There are two parts of it, and between may we have that connection between which is called as the corpus callosum over here, right? Yes, very good. So it was similar, similar to the brain, absolutely. So that's the forebrain. Of course, in there we have the thalamus and the hypothalamus. We will be discussing about these later when we are discussing about the hormones, but they are really very important. Right, they are very tiny, but they are really very important. So they are in the forebrain. Now, what is the main function of the forebrain? It controls everything. Yes. Now, can you tell me what is the function of forebrain? That's very good, Shifa. Yes. Just imagine, right? Forebrain. It controls everything. The way you speak, the way you remember things, the language, right? The way you listen to the things. 
everything that we have in terms of personality, intelligence is controlled by our forebrain, especially the cerebellum, sorry, cerebrum. Very good. The next part, we have midbrain. Over here, chutku is a cute small part is the midbrain, which plays a very important role in the involuntary actions. And the end, we have the hindbrain, which has three separate parts. We have the pons, cerebellum, medulla. Right over here at the end. Now, let's look at this everyone. Yes, how beautiful it looks. Uh, Madhya, basically, when these, the two hemispheres that we have, right, they are joined with the help of the corpus, cor uh, corpus colosseum like this. Between, there's a, a, basically a connection over there. Yes, okay. Let's see over here. So, we have this. Now, it's the extra information, but I thought you should know. Yes. So, again, I'm just giving you a thumbs up. Take a screenshot. The team have really worked very hard. You know, the team have really worked really very hard to make this. Looks beautiful, right? They made this. Very good. So, it's an extra information. Very extra information for you guys. But, of course, there are a few information that we already know. Cerebellum, help in balancing, control and coordination for the voluntary movement, help in the body balancing. Then, of course, we have the brainstem, the last part, right? The involuntary activities that we have, reflex action, then, of course, uh, heart rate, breathing rate, all of these. Yes, and, of course, the frontal lobe that we have over here controls our thinking, uh, our memory, and amazing, all of those things. So, we have different lobes over here, right? These lobes are a part of the four brain. Yes, very good. So, again, it's a very easy and... Can I tell you the trick over here? If you read the NC NCRT, the functions are there. So basically in the examination, they will ask you the functions and an application based question they will ask you. For example, a person is keep on blinking its eye like this. Which part of the brain is not functioning properly? Can you tell me? I'll not be answering this question, but you can find the answer. If a person, eyebrows, right, sorry, uh, the eyelids, are uh, just blinking, blink, blinking, right? Or maybe, uh, let's say, some person feel a little bit of the, uh, let's say, not the yawning per se, but have some sensation, right? Very good, yes. So these all are some involuntary actions, right? Which are not in our control. Very good, everyone. So you will find the answer. It's a very easy, it's not a very tricky one. Are we clear with the brain? Yes, are we clear with the brain? Brain ka part, three marks in our pockets. Awesome. Yes. Good everyone. So good to see your response here. So good to see your response. Now, we will be moving to the spinal cord. I will show. Refresh, bache. you will be getting the uh, whole PDF. But give me a time, I will explain. Aditi, it's a very easy answer, bache. Involuntary action that you will find. Yes. Related to the midbrain. Easy answer here. Okay. Spinal cord, everyone. Now, who is the best friend of spinal cord? Menti hoga. Respond and react. Shushi, you're asking a lot of time. Respond and react are kind. Will not say it's uh, something. So, we can react to a lot of things, right? For example, I'm sitting here. I'm just reacting to it. Response will be something in... So respond to something. For example, if you're talking to me, if you if you ask the question, I will be responding you uh, to the question, right? That's a difference. Very good, very good. Who is the best friend of the spinal cord? And of course, the answer is brain, right? So brain says that okay, I am doing that. So for example, if brain is a class monitor of the class, brain ka best friend has spinal cord, right? Now there are times. When brain is absent, brain calm bol hai, achha, mere paas bahut kaam hai. please spinal cord you take care. So spinal cord will say, okay friend, don't worry, I am here to help you. I'll take a little bit of your workload, but I'll tell you everything. So brain gets all the information, reflex, action, anything which is happening in our body, brain ko pata hai. But brain is so trustworthy, bolta ki mera best friend hai spinal cord and I trust the spinal cord. So you have the responsibility of 
taking some actions, reflex action, non-volunt, uh, sorry, voluntary and involuntary actions also. Sab barabar hai. There's a trust between we have, right? Yes. And the spinal cord becomes very, very important to us. Now the sensation that you have, right? This sensation. If someone will uh, take a pencil through this, can you tell me who is reacting to it? Yes. Spinal cord, right? Yes, spinal cord is really very trustworthy. Aaj menti hoga, bilkul hoga. The growing army menti hoga. Aap logi demand hai menti hoga hoga. But pehle hum padenge uske baad menti hoga. Thank you. Very good. So let's see. The spinal cord connects the brain and the peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system pe aayenge, but let's talk about the spinal cord first. Now spinal cord, it's a very amazing, very beautiful structure. Now, uh, I don't know how to say, uh, for example, Okay, how many of you have seen the ball pen? I'm sure, uh, I don't have it now. I'm sure you must have seen the ball pen, right? Ball pen, dekha hoga sabne na? You can actually, rip, uh, there's a refill pen. You can easily remove the nib of it and you can replace it. So, the spinal cord, I'll tell you something very, uh, when I came to know where the spinal cord is present, it was very interesting. So, for example, if I take this part of my brain, if I just pull it up, right? I have the spinal cord along with the brain. So brain and spinal cord are connected. Right? They are connected. Medulla is oblongata. Where it is finished, we have the initiation or the beginning of the spinal cord. Yes. Now this spinal cord is well protected by the fluid. Meninges bhi hai. Right? And apart from that, it has the bony structure, the vertebral column. Very good. Very good. Please guys don't spam, seriously, yeah. The team is here, they will block you. Please don't spam. Sapna, you, that's you need to find. Blinking of eyes is voluntary or involuntary. Achha, main Hindi mein bata dungi, but please don't spam, please don't spam. Okay? There are a lot of important stuff that we are discussing, please don't spam. Yes, so I'll explain you in Hindi also, but abhi Hindi wala se kuch hua nahi hai. So spinal cord is well protected, right, with the help of the fluid and of course, we have the vertebral column, right? Hindi mein agar bolna ho, to fluid hai aur vertebral column hai jo spinal cord ko protect karta hai. Thik hai? Yes, for example, if you stand like this, you can stand, right? Now I can stand like, I can stand straight, why? Because of the spinal cord or of course because of the bones that I have at the back, right? Very good. So again, very quick recap. So parts of uh, spine we have the, these are different region. Again, you don't have to remember them. Tenth mein to nahi hai. Right, that's not in the tenth. Yes, but of course, in the extra information over here. Inner part of the spinal cord, of course, yaha pe thoda switch hai. In brain it was opposite and now over here we have a little bit of opposite of that. Inner part of the spinal cord is made of the cell bodies. Whereas in brain, cell bodies kaan the? Andar the. Okay, and over here, sorry, bahar the, and over here we have this, right? That's a gray matter, and over here we have the white matter. What is the function of the spinal cord? Controls body movement, functions, report to the brain, manage our reflex action. Yes, easy stuff. It's very, very easy. Yes, now let's talk about the parts. Now again, you can take weight. That's, that is not important. Yeah, please take a screenshot, everyone, giving your thumbs up. And time for you to take a screenshot. Yes. Very good. Devansh, the name of the fluid, bache is the cerebrospinal fluid. Jo brain may be hai and we have it in the spinal cord also. It provides the protection. Okay? <laughs> Very good. Okay. So now, of course, spinal cord mein kya hai? We have the nerves, right? Yaha mein bossa nerves hai. And we have these nerves. Now you don't have to, if you want to remember the number, you can. If you don't want to, it's okay. It's not there in the syllabus. Not a hard and fast rule, but we have just mentioned over here. Okay? Aditi, agar screen visible nahi hai, Telegram pe will share the notes. You can download from there. Ha Devansh, how the fluid can protect? Achha. Okay. Um, the easiest example I'm thinking, right? Ke kaise, uh, uh, okay, mm. how many of you have seen the jelly? 
jelly khai hogi right i'm sure you must have eaten those jellies those yummy chocolates uh, not the chocolates of, i don't know jelly bowls and jelly candies right now of course if we have a jelly right jelly hai basically hamare paas mein and if we have the jelly and we are, if you are keeping it on on our hand yahan pe aur aise press karenge so what will happen the impact will be little less right you will not be able to feel the pain oh easiest thing um do we have something like something with a cushioning effect right a uh, kind of a protection so we here i am holding this shock absorber very good so what we have we have a bunch of tissues right we have bunch of tissues now agar ye do tissues aise hai mere paas mein and if i tap like this thoda sa impact hoga but it will not be that huge impact right so what is happening basically this is acting as a shock absorber and it will be taking up the shock so similarly we have the fluid right and this that particular fluid act as a shock absorber theek hai yes very good yes it's very similar to the pericardium yes we have the pericardium right we have it to the lungs also yes ha wohi mujhe lag raha hai kya chal raha hai yes see it's your loss matlab i am fully dedicated to teaching you guys but yes okay so let's move ahead we'll have to wind up this really very quickly everyone so let's focus here right okay now we have this and this this is done then now we'll talk about the peripheral nervous system now you tell me what we have in the peripheral nervous system yes what we have in the peripheral nervous system yes priya it is present in animals jitendra if you are asking me it's all good i hope it's good for you very good so basically we have the nerves right dikshita i don't have exact number yes okay please take a screenshot of this but anyways i am sure you must have taken okay very good so what we have we have the nerves over here right there's nothing but the nerves okay stomatic nerves and then we have the autonomic nerves very good yes aayenge aayenge and then of course we have the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system agar if one is increasing the heart beat the other one will reduce it right yes very good yes bachche mai hati thi you can take the screenshot again i'll again i'll move yes chalo 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 everyone just be very quick right we have a lot to study yes okay okay let's move ahead now this is a very small thing you can definitely remember it now we are moving to the types of nerves you can take a screenshot first and then we'll discuss okay take a screenshot everyone <clears throat> yes very good yes thumbs up is done and now so we have the cranial nerves which are there in the face right basically in the skull part of it right they are 12 in number and of course they have the all the information that we have related to the sense we see smell taste vision hearing all of those nerves that are there we have we have it 12 in number and wo hamare face pe idhar hai clear then we have the spinal nerve which are of course 31 right they are 31 in number over here thoda sa galat hai but it's okay yeah over here it's 31 in number done 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 very good but your screen agar clear nahi hai sp you can refresh your page right or you will get the pdf aram se don't worry you will get the pdf on the telegram yes okay so carry the signals to the different parts of the body yes very good okay now types according to the functions of it we have different types sensory nerve motor nerve and mixed nerve naam se hi you will have the understanding sensory nerve will take the information or carry the signal to the brain right then motor nerve carry the signal to muscles and to the different glands and mixed nerves doing both the functions yes very good so we are clear with this right easy peasy okay 
Now comes the hormonal part, right? Very quickly, everyone. So till now we have finished the central nervous system. What is the time now? I think half an hour we will be able to finish, right? Okay. How many of you want to finish the session in half an hour? We have time, but how many of you want to finish the session in half an hour? Jaldi se. Half an hour mein karna session ko. Do you want to finish, right? Yes. So let's focus, right? Very good. I can see so many of them. Me, 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 me. एक घंटा हो गया हाँ, एक घंटा हो गया. Yes. So see, having the quiz is in your hand. Help me. Tell me the answers, right? And then we'll move ahead. मुझे surety होनी चाहिए ना कि बच्चों को आ गया है. अगर आपको सब आएगा तो I'll be like हाँ चलो, we can have the mentee quiz. नहीं बच्चे, Devansh, neuron are different or nerves is different. हमने पढ़ा था ना कि एक्सॉन बेसिकली ऑफ़ कोर्स जब हम पूरा बंडल देख रहे हैं तो नर्व फाइबर बन रहा है नर्व फाइबर कनेक्टिव टिश्यू के साथ में मिलके एक नर्व बना रहा है तो अच्छा डिफरेंट थे क्यों नहीं होगा मेंटी बिल्कुल होगा चलिए लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द केमिकल कोऑर्डिनेशन वी हैव द हॉर्मोन्स very very important everyone, they are the chemical messengers, right? And uh, they are released by the glands. Glands release hote hain. They move in the blood, right? They don't have a duct that they follow. They just travel through the blood and they are very target specific. They are released or secreted in a very small quantity. They do their job and they go. They don't like to mess around, right? They are very focused, focused people I would say, not people, but yeah, very focused type of chemicals, right? Yes. Very good. So here we have the definition of uh, the hormones, right? And of course, we have the endocrine glands, which are ductless. Ductless, ductless, right? So endocrine glands are those glands that secretes the secretion directly. They don't follow a duct, right? They don't follow a duct. Very good. So we have different types of endocrine glands. Over here we have the list of it. Let's quickly look into the details. Here we have. Okay. Now pituitary gland we have. It has lots of secretion over here. Yes. Very good everyone. Thank you so much. So we have follicle stimulating hormone that actually help in stimulating both in the male and the female. Right. So follicle stimulating hormone will actually help in the formation of the spermato somatozoa right and of course in the uh, females with the graphic and follicles right we have LH hormone again help in the basically in the formation of the gametes that we have thyroid stimulating hormone on thyroid growth hormone right yes yes very good ha huh. okay then of course we have the oxytocin also called as a birth hormone help in the contraction and of course plays a very important role in the production of milk also. Now again these are not there but if just in case we want to have this you can uh, remember this information. Okay. Controls the water level, regulates the water level in the body. Pituitary gland important here right? The master gland right which even we know is a master gland. Okay. Now, okay, over here we have the functions, okay. If you want to take a screenshot, everyone take a screenshot. Uh, or you will get the, basically you will get the PPT also. I have explained the functions, but just in case if you want to remember the functions, here we are. Okay, helps in the ejection of milk and reabsorption. Okay, now coming to the thyroids. Very good. Yes, now the thyroid gland everyone, the butterfly gland, right, that we have over here. Yes? Okay. One minute everyone. Yes. So we have the thyroid gland, right? Which is which is of course the butterfly-shaped gland, right? Of course, it releases the hormone which is the thyroxine, 
and the calcitocin right over here. Two important hormones. In our CBSC, it's only one, but extra one is definitely good for us to remember, right? Can we have the chat running? Sir, we can have the chat running. It's not moving now. Yes. Now, what is the location of it? Each on the other side of the trachea, on each side of the trachea. Yes, we have the functions. It regulates the body metabolism. This is very, very important. Lakshmi, what do you think? Yeah, it's a different gland, right? It has a very important role in the sleep. I'm sure you must have seen the video which Ashwarya Ma'am did recently, right? About on the sleep. Yes. Very good. Okay, I can see some things. Difference between the exocrine and the endocrine gland. Major difference, bache. Endocrine gland is one where they don't have any duct secretion jo hoga hormones ka directly into the blood hoga. On the other side, the exocrine gland will be secreting in the tubes, in the ducts. Okay? Very good. Then, of course, there was a question the larynx and the pharynx. Pharynx is a common passage for the food and for the air. Larynx is the voice box. Yes. Okay? Okay. So, over here, everyone, we have the function. If there's a more secretion or less secretion of this particular hormone, the individual will have the deficiency, right? And of course, basically they'll have disease. Now, this is a very, very, very simple, uh, I think, gland. Majority of us are kind of aware about, there are a lot of individuals around ourselves that will be in, uh, taking the, basically the, um, uh, the tablets, right, to have a thyroxine level maintained in their body. It's a very important hormone, plays a very, very important role in the control and coordination. Basically, metabolism ko uh, regulate karta hai, control and coordination nahi, sorry. But plays a very, very important role in the uh, whole metabolic regulation. Yes. Now, next is the interesting gland we have. The adrenal gland releases the hormone which is the adrenal. That gives you the flight, sorry, fight and flight actions, right? Sometimes you're really very happy, super happy. We have this hormone which plays a very important role in that. Sometimes when you're really very afraid, right? We have this hormone. Very good, Dikshita, very good. Yes, Aditi, absolutely correct. Yes, kidney hats, right? They are the kidney hats. Okay. Then, of course, we have the pancreas, which secretes the hormone like insulin and the glycogen, right? Now, of course, very, very important. They control the sugar level of the body. Blood sugar level. That means sugar is zyada hai, kam hai. Which hormone is con controlling? Insulin. And, of course, we have the Come here, insulin ka secretion, of course, will have a disease, which is the diabetes, okay? Very important thing. Are we clear? I think this you can definitely, I'm sure you all are clear with this. Now, testis, location in the testosterone, sorry. Testis is the part, right, of course, which releases the hormone, which is the testosterone. And it controls the, basically, the production of the sperms, the secondary sexual characters in the males. Very, very important hormone that we have in the males. Then, of course, we have the ovaries, which secrete two important hormones, estrogen and the progesterone. Estrogen controls the secondary sexual characters in the females, plays a very important role in the ov ov ovum formation, right? And progesterone helps in the maintaining of the pregnancy, okay? Are we clear? Yes. Okay, Chirayu, what do you think? See, testis and ovaries, endocrine hai. Yes, they are. Yes, they are the endocrine glands. Very good. That's why we are studying them, right? So, very welcome back, Pushpa. Okay. Uh, innovative 26, duct and ductless gland. Ductless gland wo hai, jo bhi hum pad rahe hai, right? Yes, and of course, they will be releasing the hormones directly into the blood. Duct gland, exocrine gland, jo ek duct make tube mein secretion karenge. Ah, ovaries mein duct nahi hai. Ovaries ke bahar hai, right? In the female reproductive system, we have a duct which is the fallopian tube or the ov duct. Ovary ke andar duct nahi hai, bache. Very good, very good. Okay. So, are we clear with this? Let me see this. Are we clear? Quickly, everyone, we are moving ahead. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Bhavesh. For a time. Memory. Yes. Okay, are we clear? Uh, one minute. Yes. 
वेरी गुड वेरी गुड हाँ चलो नाउ फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म पढ़ते हैं उससे पहले प्लीज If you are new here, please subscribe the channel. Soon will be a family of 100k. We want to you be a part of it. Now, what is the feedback mechanism? For example, these hormones are secreted only very small quantity when whenever they are required. If there is any up and down, right when they are going up, of course, it's everything is positive. And once the requirement is done, right, the signal will go, and of course, the secretion of this particular hormone will come to end. So that's a feedback mechanism. Yes, are we clear? Very good, everyone. Are we clear? Quickly tell me. Now, this is important. We have menti, but no, no, not this. Not this, we have time. I'll tell you, sir. Yes, our menti hair, it's not time hair. Plant, we have to learn very quickly, everyone. In 10 minutes, let's finish the plant. How many of you like plant hormone? I will explain. Bacha, I will explain. Oh, okay, I think you want me to repeat the. Okay, take care. Okay, let's suppose, let's explain with the, an example. I hope it helps you. Okay. Let's suppose, uh, for example, your friend gives you two chocolates. Right? And you need two chocolates. Okay? You need two chocolates, everyone. Feedback mechanism. Super important. So, for example, it's, okay, let's just suppose it's me. And if, uh, if my friend want me to finish their homework, right? Or maybe they just want to just write an article. I need two chocolates. I need two chocolates and I'll do that. I'll write the homework, right? Once the article or maybe the homework is done, what will happen? Maybe that friend will not talk to me. <laughs> right? Or the job is done. There will be no interaction. But again, if they want... Something from me, maybe they want me to write their homework or something. Again, they'll come with two chocolates. Yes? So it's a feedback mechanism, right? Whenever it is required, it will be there. Once it's done, the job is done, the hormone will not be present there. There's a positive feedback and there's a negative feedback. Are we clear? Yes? Okay, feedback mechanism. Quickly thumbs up. I am pay. We will be coming to the plant hormones also. I know you will not be, but I'm just giving you a scenario. Are we clear feedback mechanism? Yes. Wherever it's needed, it's there. Once it's done, it's stopped. Very good. Clear hi karna tha and I'm so happy ki clear ho gaya. Okay. Plant hormone ke baare mein poochha tha ki kisko pasand hai. Bhaat sari logo ne I hate no 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 likha tha. Bhaat easy hai. Let's look at over here. There are five important plant hormones. We have auxin, gibberellin and cytokinin. See, it was there already in a session. Take a screenshot of this everyone. Thumbs up. Screenshot. I give thumbs up because Yash ne mujhe bohat time pehle bola tha. Ma'am, can you ask for a screenshot? Please give us a thumbs up. Okay. Kuch ko serious user chal rahi hai conversation in the chat. Everyone focus. Very good. I hope that you have taken a screenshot of this, right? Chalo, let's start. We'll move ahead to the next one. So the auxin, yes, auxin helps in the growth. Very important. Auxin help in the growth. Gibberellin help in the stem elongation, right? Germination, basically. Cytokinin promotes the cell division. Then we have ethylene. Take a screenshot, everyone. Yes, take a screenshot. Ethylene is a gaseous hormone, right? It's a very important gaseous hormone. And it actually helps in the ripening of the fruit. Very good. And at the end, we have the epicystic acid, which is the bad, not the bad person. Sab kuch rokta hai. Right? It is the one that actually will make sure ke haan, everything is getting stopped. Okay? Italian is not a very happy hormone. Such in dormancy break, basically, for example, if the seed is in the dormancy period, not growing, it will break. This part, these, the hormones that we are talking about will break that. Okay? Okay, everyone, final five minutes and we'll move ahead. Okay, take a screenshot again. Two marks question. What is the difference between the nastic movement and the tropic movement? Very good, very good. Yes, Piyush. Okay, please don't spam everyone. Very, very good. Okay, two marks question. 
so nastic movement are the independent movement they are non directional movement right and the response is due to the cell shape that we will see the tropic movement is growth dependent the movement will be happening in the direction per se and of course response is due to the growth of a specific part it's a very slow response per se okay now we have the tropic movement phototropism the plant will move towards light chemotropism the plants will move towards the chemicals geotropism the plants will move towards the towards the gravity yes right and of course water hydrotropism towards the water and touch with the thigmotropism very good theek hai chaliye now it's a menti quiz time let's go on menti now i'll take also break and you also everyone go on the menti right we have it so we'll switch now so what do you need to need i'm visible right yes i'm visible because i'm uh, yeah now i'm visible cool okay but thoda confusion hai everyone we just trying to figure out things out over here okay so everyone please go on www.menti.com and use the code 59165442 again i'm repeating the code everyone yes so the code is 59165442 सुरेश अभी नहीं मे बी इन फ्यूचर यस फाइनली मेंटी मैराथन के बाद में लगता है फाइनली मेंटी वी हैव वेरी गुड एवरीवन आस्क योर फ्रेंड्स टू जॉइन बच्चे कम हो गए यहां पे आ गए एवरीवन जॉइन द मेंटी देयर आर सो मेनी ऑफ यू इन क्लास जॉइन द मेंटी विल स्टार्ट इन 1 मिनट यू नीड टू गो ऑन www.menti.com यूज द कोड व्हिच इज 5916 Okay, let me write five nine one six five double four two. Very good. See, channel I have posted. Okay, can you see this? Menti code, menti code is over here. Look, right? I know. Yes. Very good everyone. फिर से वाइट बैकग्राउंड का मेंटी आई होप ऐसा नहीं है मोहम्मद आई होप ऐसा नहीं है अब तो तृप्ति मैम भी नहीं है फिर वो आएंगे नहीं हमारी हेल्प के लिए अभी लेट हो गए हम लोग ओके एवरी वन ओके यस यूट्यूब पे नहीं होगा पीयूष यू टू यू नीड टू गो टू द डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट मेंटी डॉट कॉम मेंटी भी आना ही पड़ेगा ओके एवरी वन कोड इज हेयर थैंक यू भाविश सो आई नॉट स्पीक बट ये एवरी वन दो ज्वाइनिंग फॉर वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सब्सक्राइब करो प्लीज बहुत अच्छा लगेगा इफ यू बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ अ फैमिली राइट एंड आई होप दैट लाइक बटन हिट कर दिए यस नॉट आस्किंग फॉर मच बट थोड़ा सा a little bit of your uh, love and affection yes okay everyone let's move ahead we have the anth examination and we know that we have already discussed about it telegram group do i think many of you were asking about the telegram group so here we have and here we are we have the logos right the main difference between the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system central nervous system is composed of the brain and the spinal cord controls major activities right and in the peripheral nervous system we only talk about the nerves and their action very good code is here thank you for the channel for posting it <laughs> yes white background hai ma'am aisa hai kya kyun wait if that's a case give me a minute okay if that's a case we need some help then okay let's try
Yes, I am also joining. Let's see. 5, 9, 1, 6, 5, double, 4, 2. Wait, it's not happening. Yes, everyone, I hope that everything is fine. It's not loading. Okay, one minute. Hmm, it's not loading. That's one thing is there. How do we check more further? White background here. So can you just give me one minute? Right, I'll be back. One minute and I'll be back. Yes. No, it's no, it's no, it's due to the white background. I'll just see. One minute, everyone. One minute. Just give me one minute. You can move mute me. One minute. Yes, everyone, can you see me and can you hear me? Um, can you put me back? It's there. I can't see myself. Every Hi, everyone, can you hear me? Yes, okay, I can see that you can say. Cool. So now please tell me, I think now it's fixed. Yes, now it's fixed. Everyone, now it's fixed, right? Yes, a purple ho gaya, yes. Let me call Tripti ma'am and tell ke it's fixed. <laughs> yeah, it's fixed. We fixed, fixed, fixed. Ha, okay. Okay, everyone. So we are there, right? Chalo, let's start our menti quiz, everyone. 
so much of trouble okay so let's see if it's okay let's see if we have something here right ha huh, leaderboard hoga you will be there in the leaderboard i can let's try that out okay everyone right let's go and uh, yeah over here we have okay everyone all the best all the very best right so let's start everyone on count of 3 2 1 and go all the best everyone i yeah i know that now it's question number 1 okay i'm just waiting for 30 seconds chalo everyone i can see sorry for the delay but i can see many of you are here if you have just joined everyone go to the www.menti.com use the code 59165442 all the best i hope i'm just crossing my all fingers cross ek kya finger sabhi fingers ko cross kar liye yes and let's start hope we'll have the first question i hope everything goes yes okay everyone here we have the question number one and microscopic gap which is there what we call it as right there's a microscopic gap between a pair of the edges a neuron which nerve impulse pass it called as what easy peasy yes very quickly everyone it's a easy peasy question i know right there's a microscopic gap that we see all the best siddharth for your examination is it i did i show the answer before i'm sorry maybe just the menti's fault very good 108 of you have voted for the correct answer we have talked about it's very time so you people are very smart okay question number 2 everyone on the screen question number 2 and here we go to the question number 2 i'm telling you i am in the quiz i am also playing along with you question number 2 identify the x stimulus receptor what is the x right spinal cord right of course spinal cord brain cranial nerve or the cerebro spinal fluid yes what we have in between we have to identify the x and this is a diagram you can make in the examination also theek hai you can make this diagram in the examination also explaining about the reflex arc okay very good spinal cord is the correct answer very good everyone Now question number three on the screen. Question number three. Let's see over here what we have. Breathing is controlled by which part of the brain? Interesting question, right? Cerebellum or what? We have cerebrum, cerebellum, hypothalamus, or the medulla. Breathing is controlled by which part of the brain? <coughs> Very good. I can see. Uh, yes, very good. Everyone, quickly answer this question. Yes, yes. And the correct answer is medulla. Sixty-two of you. Sixty-two of you have voted for the correct answer, which is the medulla. Very good. Okay, now let's move to the next question. Question number four. Here we have question number four. Iodine is necessary for the synthesis of which hormone? Very important, right? Thyroxine, adrenal, thyroid stimulating hormone or growth hormone. Coach, difference between neuron. Neuron is a cell, bache. And now when these right, these neurons will be coming together. along with the connective tissue they will be forming the nerve okay iodine is necessary for the synthesis of which hormone and the answer you need to answer that i will not be answering i was this close to answer this question the correct answer is thyroxine 100 of you have voted for the correct answer very good right okay question number question number 5 We have ten. Sorry, do we have twelve questions? So here we have twelve question here. Okay, here we have 
So fastest is the Shreya. We uh, Shreyan, we have Vaishnavi, Sammy, Anishka, Elsa, Johnny, Aradhya, Magical Rhino, Tahia, and Shreya. You know what is my rank? Now I'll not tell you, but yeah, at the end we will find. Very good, everyone. Awesome. Yes, so we have 12 questions, 4 are done. We have few more to go. Question number 5 everyone. We will be playing, it's a rapid fire now. Very quickly. Okay. Radha sowed some seed in a pot under a box that is open from one side facing the sun. Facing the sun. Later see that the shoot is bending. Which hormone or what is the tropism is acting over here? Yes, it bends towards the light due to... What? Geotropism, phototropism, chemotropism or hydrotropism. Radha ne thode se seeds ko dala and of course uh, later she observed that they are bending towards the light. This is due to what? This is due to the phototropism. Very good. Very good. Okay. Question number 6 on your screen. Here we go. Okay, here we have the question. Uh, electrical impulse travel in a neuron in the following direction. Very, very interesting question, right? Dendrites, where it will be moving, uh, where to where? Yes. So we have these four options over here. Take your time and then vote. It's a very easy peasy question, right? Solve in three seconds. Very good. The easy thing over here to see the words, right? Which is the first word, the second word. You got all the questions correct. Super amazing. Awesome. I think I'll not be there in the leader vote today. Yes. So then try cell body, exon and the exonal end. We have discussed. Okay. Moving to the question number 7. Here we have question number 7. The question 7 is spinal cord originates from where? Very interesting question it is, right? It originates from where? Cerebrum, medulla, pons or the cerebellum. Spinal cord originates from where? Cerebrum, medulla, pons or the cerebellum. Yes, yes. Easy peasy? Yes. Please do not answer, but yeah, let's see. Like Few of you are here, few of you are there, so it's okay. Yes, very good. Three, two and one. Time's up and the correct answer is medulla. 80 of you have voted for the correct answer. Those of you who got confused for uh, for you, spinal cord is originating where the medulla is basically ending, right? That particular part. Okay. Let's see question number 8 everyone on the screen and here we go. Question number 8 everyone, after that we have the leader board. Okay, which, which of the following is not associated with the growth of the plant, right? Which is not associated with the growth of the plant? We have oxygen, gibberellin, cytokinin and the abscisic acid. Which of these plant hormone is not involved in the growth of the plant? Very good. Yes, let's see. Answer in two seconds. Very good, very good. And the correct answer is abscisic acid. We were discussing this, right? The only hormone which is against the growth is the abscisic acid. Okay. Now let's see the leaderboard, everyone. Leaderboard is over here. And there's no... Let's see what we have over here. We have Magical Rhino, which is the fastest. Then we have Shriyan. We have Vaishnavi, Sami, Elsa, Tahi, Tahia. Then we have Priyanshu. Ooh. Bran, then Kumar Harshavardhan. Very good. <coughs> yes, you again. Very good, very good. No issues, Ananya. Sorry, Anaya, but you know the answers. That's good. Okay. Okay. Last four sets of question, everyone, right? Last four set. Question number nine on the screen. Okay. Select the mismatch pair. Interesting question. Please read over here. This we have to find the mismatch pair, right? We have to mismatch. Mismatch. We have adrenal, P 
pituitary gland, testosterone, testis, estrogen, ovary, thyroxine, thyroid gland. Yes. Three, two, one. <laughs> Three, hurry. Okay. Very good. So, it's a mismatch over here. Right. Adrenal is a hormone which is secreted by the adrenal gland. Right. Not the pituitary gland. Okay. Next question, everyone. Question number 10. Here we go to the question number 10. The growth of a pollen tube in ovule, towards ovule is due to what? Very easy, right? Hydrotropism, chemotropism, geotropism, phototropism. Super easy. Jaldi, jaldi, everyone, all of you can answer. The growth of the pollen tube towards the ovule is due to what? Yes, I know sometimes in, in very, uh, we are quickly doing right, we might make mistake. Okay. Very good and the correct answer is chemotropism, right? It's very easy. We don't have to explain it's chemotropism. Okay, question number 11 everyone. Chemotropism of course, we'll see the growth of the pollen tube towards the ovule, uh, right? Uh, <clears throat> of course, there's a chemical which is there because of that. Question number 11. Chemo means chemical, yes. Okay, involuntary actions in the body are controlled by what we have. Medulla in the um, medulla in the forebrain, medulla in the midbrain, medulla in the higher brain, and medulla in the spinal cord. Oh, your name is Pooja, and it went like poo. Nice. I think I have a very hard chance to come on the um, leaderboard. Okay, medulla and the hind brain is the correct answer, right? So, of course, the involuntary action of the body is controlled by the medulla in the, yes, in the hind brain. Very good. Everyone, last question. Yes, I will be happy if you do that. Tahir. Last question, everyone. Last question. Here we have the last question. Oh, acromegalum is caused due to, very interesting question, right? I'm sure, um, Maybe enough for some time we might get confused, but let's see. Yes. I'm sure you have, you know, you have heard of this for sure. Easy here. Yes. It is related to the growth hormones, right? See over here, lots of confusion. So basically it's a condition where there will be the so much more secretion of the growth hormone. Are we clear? Right, hyposecretion of the growth hormone. So option number D. All of you who got wrong, please, please take a note of this. Okay. Now everyone with this, we are done with our mentee. Let's see the final leaderboard. Here we have the leaderboard. Very interesting. Let's see. Okay. Leaderboard is here. Fastest we have Manya. We have Raghavan. Right. Uh, then we have Yash. We have Rosina. We have ABC, Vaishnavi, Sammy, Shreyan, Taya and Elsa. Very good Elsa. Nice. Very good. Awesome everyone, so I, I hope that you have fun, right? Okay, we'll be moving back, sir. We'll be moving back to the mode. Okay, everyone. So if you give them a, if you give me the image, we'll move back. Should I? Yes. Okay, one minute. Yes. Okay. Okay, everyone. So let's move ahead, right? With this, we are kind of done with our whole session. Interesting, right? I hope that you have enjoyed and you had so much fun. Yes, enough. Very 
let's quickly have these small you know very small things over here i think it's not the full screen matlab you need to yes uh okay wait wait a minute <clears throat> yeah it's a one right cool everyone okay so here we have few tips to remember the whole chapter like not a whole chapter but of course a little bit concept here and there you can make the definitely tables for these hormones definitely these actually help that's why i asked you to take the screenshot of the tables right we have this very important remember this how to make the pathway in the examination this is how you can make please do take a screenshot of this right please take a screen or oh, do you want me to so i tell you my rank my rank was 15th my speed was slow because i was yeah i have to communicate also right so yeah my rank was 15 not so happy <laughs> but yeah i just lost because of the speed yes <laughs> now uh, we can can we have the chat running here yes no issues नहीं भावेश नहीं है आंसर वेरी गुड वेरी गुड ओके सर रिमेम्बर दिस एवरी वन देन ऑफकोर्स वी कैन मेक द न्यूमोनिक्स और आई थिंक प्लान हॉर्मोन के लिए यू आर दू इज टेलिंग मी अज राइट एंड वी हैव समथिंग एस अगे सो वी हैव ऑक्सीजन जिब्रोलियन साइटोकाइन एसिड एस अ गेम इजी मूविंग अ साइड टेक्स अम सर वेरी गुड वेरी गुड एवरी वन यस आशीष Yes, Yui, XR Crystal, Aditi, A Cage. Okay, good. Issue. We have. Is it in over twenty six? Okay, everyone. With this, of course, we are not done. You can make a flow chart like this, right? To remember the things we already had a discussion about it, and with that, we are done. so tomorrow we are coming live on telegram so join the telegram group after the class i'll share the pdf also and we got you covered everyone please don't forget to hit the like button for the video It means so much to us and if you like this video please subscribe to the channel it just feels so good to see our family growing no issues priyanshu 19 mere 15 rank hai <laughs> right so it's okay everyone i hope that you have enjoyed the session don't be sad for short kisko session mein maza aaya maze aaye padhne mein yes khana bhi ghar walon ka call aa raha hai maine cut kar diya hoga right i'll go and later and have i hope all of you have enjoyed the session see it's important ki jab aap padhai kar rahe hain you in, you should enjoy the session right you should focus on the session ask your doubts Yes, that's very good. XR crystal. Hope you liked it, right? Awesome. We will do agriculture chapter. But after your midterm, we will be starting with the new chapters. Yes, Yashrat. Awesome. With that, everyone, we'll end our session. Thank you so much for coming here and learning with us. Lots of love to you. Please write in the comment section. Comment section में जाके बताओ. that you have enjoyed the session show your love to the teammates who worked really very hard right you can mention ke bahut acha tha session ppt bahut achhi thi they will feel so good we all read your comments okay thank you so much everyone we'll meet soon till that time take care of yourself and keep on learning with bye juice bye bye